Hello everyone. This tutorial is about post-processing GNSS raw data with ComNav Compass Solution software, which can help you to obtain high accuracy positioning solutions. So in this presentation, I will cover the basic overview of the Compass Solution interface, importing and analyzing GNSS data, and exporting coordinate reports. So firstly, a quick overview of the GNSS data. So why we collect static data, which is established high accuracy network to help surveyors to acquire precise positioning solutions in quite short time. Um, for PPK and stop and go function, it is a replacement of the RTK function which is optimal to use in survey environment without a good data link communication. For now, only our Android-based software Survey Master can collect the PPK data shows in this picture. Okay, before we start to post-process our GNSS data, I will show you the workflow of our Compass Solution software which is quite easy to understand. You only need to build your new project and import raw data and make a constraint in local grid coordinates, post-process your data, and export the report. So I will start to show you how to post-process your static GNSS data now. Okay, here we have the Compass Solution software. You can see this user-friendly interface with a menu bar and the two bars above. Those two bars allows you to quick access your frequently used functions. Also, the navigation areas on the left and the main view area. So now go to the file to create your own project. Select your saving path. and to the file name. It's quite important to select the correct coordinate system. We already got a preset list you can select from. Otherwise, go to the detail to create your own data. And for the datum convert, you can enter the three or seven parameters, but in this case, we just leave it alone. And you also can select any projections from this list. Be sure of entering the correct parameters for your projection. We also support to add geo models, which is compatible with GGF format. So now you select the datum you create and click OK to active this datum in your project. Then we import our GNSS data now. Commonly, we support three kind of the format and the ComNav is a default one. And select your data. Now you can see the baseline is formed on the map view. And then go to the observation tab in the navigation area and select the specific file you want to edit and make sure the observation window is shown on the main view area. And now you can check the start and end observation tab and local coordinates, also the antenna height. So right-click to change the property of this file. For station name and antenna height, we commonly have three measuring methods of the antenna height. But for the static data, we suggest you use the notch of the receiver and then select the T300 tab.
and the station name and antenna height of each observation should be changed as a A001. And next step is to go to the station tab and find your known point. Right click to change the properties and go to the known point. Enter the known point value. And check the constraint. Okay, now you go to the static baseline and go to the process setting. In this setup windows, you can change the processing parameters based on your requirements, but we suggest you to leave these items as a default and then process all the baseline. After post-processing, please check the quality values. Be sure of the ratio values is larger than three and RMS value is in the millimeter level. And if the RMS value and the ratio values cannot meet this standard, just go to the output window, fill out the noisy data manually. Firstly, uh, select the baseline with a lowest ratio value, and then go to the quality window to check the every observation of the satellites and find the satellites without good observation. Now we find the compass number 4 satellite has a relative low quality, so we just go back to the timeline. And delete the observation data of the number 4 compass satellite and then process this baseline along. You can see we get a better result now. And you also can right click this baseline to delete, forbid, or use this baseline as a part of the solutions. But we are not recommending you to delete any baseline from this part. Next, I'll go to the adjustment setup. Commonly, we use the 2D height fitting models to adjustment your baselines. And remember to go to the free adjustment, select the fixed station, and click OK. And now to run adjustment. And then you can go to the report to check the network adjustment report in web format. In this report, please drop down and have a look of the x square check number. If it shows fail, please copy the reference factor and go back to the adjustment setup. Change the value here and click OK. I'll run adjustment again. Then go to the report. It shows the final report you get. 
and shows a path with x square check. Now you can have a look of the coordinates you get uh, with a millimeter accuracy. And you also can output the report in other formats like DXF, TXT, and KML. Most common one is a TXT, so click Output. And this TXT file is automatically saved in your saving path. Now you can see this uh, TXT file with uh, coordinates. And then remember to save your project at the end. So PPK post processing, it's uh, similar like the static baseline. Remember, plug your dongle into your computer. And please uh, check the import dynamic baseline when you're importing your uh, rover's data. And go to the observation to change the property of the base. It's also similar like a static baseline. And you don't need to change any properties for the rover's data. And then go to the station. To fix the base unknown point. and check the constraint. Now let's move to the uh, baseline settings. You need to change the interval as once per second and leave other items alone. Okay, you can see this result has a relative high fixed percentage. Go back to the map view, you can see this dynamic baseline on this screen. And then double click on this dynamic baseline to check the detailed information of each observation. And then right click, go to the filter to set the format as a projection, which means you will organize your output report in your local grid coordinate system. And click OK. Now you can output your PPK report. And go to find your report. And finally, remember to save your project. 
If you have any problems about CalmNav Compass Solution software, please contact us through this email. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. Okay, thanks for listening, and see you next time. Bye.